I was excited about the opportunity to hunt near Gonzales, Texas for a scimitar horned oryx. Our guide, John Ed Steppen, better known as John Ed, explained a little bit about this exotic creature we'd be hunting, so I'd know what I was up against. Well, the scimitar horned oryx has a, a definite aesthetic beauty um, with a, a, a predominantly a snow white cape, uh, a rusty red colored neck, and uh, a rusty red face mask. Uh, they're a very attractive animal. Uh, which make them one of the, the more prized antelope uh, throughout all of Africa. The scimitar horned oryx is classified as a super exotic, uh, which the definition being uh, an, not the normal axis deer, fallow deer, black buck antelope, Corsican or mouflon sheep that are, that are traditionally hunted on game ranches throughout Texas and the United States. The scimitar horned oryx is a, a much more rare animal um, and is not uh, found as common and widespread as the uh, as a previously mentioned exotics. Therefore, uh, the term super exotic is used to classify this, uh, this species of animal. Aside from being super exotic, these scimitar horned oryx are super challenging. And if you don't believe me, if you've heard that these animals are easy to hunt, just watch this. Okay, here come the oryx. Look. Oh, no. I was determined not to give up. If you think this is a piece of cake, hunting these things, you're wrong. Wow, that's exciting. I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm so tired. There is so much brush. Well, in my opinion, those are the smartest animals. I'm not kidding. I I can't get over it. Well, the jig's up. They know we're after them. There's no doubt about it. Any of these animal rights people think, ah, oh, these exotics, they have nothing to hunt them. I challenge them to come hunt. Just come carry the camera? Yeah. <laughs> The 
degree of difficulty, if uh, a whitetail was considered a uh, seven on a scale of one to ten, uh, a scimitar horned oryx would be a five. Um, as I said, they've adapted very well to the hill country and, and their habitat, uh, which they live in now. In the desert, they were greatly reliant uh, on their eyesight and uh, uh, their hearing to, uh, to flee from danger. But here in the hill country, they've utilized their two senses as well as the heavy cover that we have around us here. Um, so they, they, they will elude us. Uh, they're not, uh, not a typically uh, docile animal. Uh, they stay very, uh, uh, very solitary, the bulls, and uh, the cows tend to stay in herds. And the bulls will co-mingle with the cow herds uh, throughout the year. Golly, I want to get one before Bella Caroli gets here tomorrow. That's just a matter of being patient. Give it a couple hours here. You know, just looking at these orcs, it just doesn't appear that they're going to be as bright as a white tail. But let me tell you something. John Ed said that the, that the orcs was a five on a scale of one to ten. If a white tail was a seven, I give you my word. These things, in my opinion, on this particular ranch, these things are harder to hunt than a white tail. This is one of the most challenging hunts I've ever been on. Come on now. Maybe this will be the spot. I don't know. We've got about six hours of daylight left. Oh yeah, look, something must have run them out of the bottom. Look at this. So yesterday at this time, they did the exact same thing. There's a bunch of them. That's the main herd right there. Oh my goodness, they're coming straight at me. Check this out. Come on now. Okay. I'm looking for one that's a lot bigger than the other ones. Take a licking, folks. This is a 50 caliber muzzle loader, and that animal is the size of an elk. And I'm telling you, this is one of the most challenging hunts I have ever been on in my life, and that is a true trophy, a scimitar horned oryx. I'm gonna sit here just a little bit, catch my breath, let the animal lay down and die before we approach it. What a challenging hunt. Oh, wow. What a beautiful animal. Look at this beautiful animal. Wow. Look at this. Isn't that long, pointy horns? Folks, these are horns. These are not antlers. This animal does not shed these right here. If you shed them, they'd be antlers. These right here are horns. Look at that, just like a pronghorn antelope or a nil guy or a kudu. Look at this. And if it wasn't for ranchers and their efforts in Texas to bring these animals over here and get them on these ranches and raise them, these animals would be in a whole lot worse shape as far as their numbers in, in the whole world. You know, in Africa, these are almost extinct. And if it wasn't for the ranchers over here, these animals would be in trouble. Wow, what a deal.